certain situation, we learn lessons. The coronavirus situation is to remind us that the world will end one day. That one, a day is coming where there will be no business, no shops, nothing. In some parts of Europe now, it's like ghost cities, ghost towns, streets deserted. I called a man in the UK who was quarantined himself and his wife, both of them, with the coronavirus. And I prayed for him, prayed for his wife. He said, Pastor, I've never seen a thing like this. He said, the whole road is deserted. Nobody. Ghost town. Next day, he texted me. He said, him and his wife, they are up and strong and the wife is cooking now. <laughs> next day, very next day. He said, my wife is, is in the kitchen cooking now. But he said, it's just like ghost cities. Just one plague, a man wrote. He said, only one plague. And the world stood still. Only one plague and the world government is humbled. Only one plague and the world powers are confused. Only one plague and everyone is scampering for safety. Only one plague and all economy shut down. I don't know how Italy, China will be recovering. Schools shut down. Offices shut down. Streets were deserted. Only one plague and Mecca sent back worshippers. Jerusalem turned back their tourists. Vatican City closed down. Just one plague. Churches are shut down. Mosques are closed up. All sports are postponed. Clubs are sealed. Only one plague and the entertainment industry is groaning monthly. Just one plague. Don't shake hands again. Don't hug each other again. Step away in meter space. Just one plague. Before the plague, there were nations threatening nations for war. There were countries bullying countries. There was war in Syria, revolt in Iran, crisis in Turkey, protests and political unrest. But the plague surfaces and quieted everything. War ceased for the plague. Unrest stopped for the plague. Olympic is shutting down for the plague. Everybody ran into their houses. Everyone is hiding away for just one plague. But what shall you do about plagues upon plagues upon plagues when the trumpet sounds? And Jesus has come and gone with his blood washed sins. Welcome to a dress rehearsal. This is to show people, look, a time is going to come very, very shortly where it is not only Ebola virus or coronavirus, but locusts that have the tails of scorpions. According to Revelation, when they sting a man, he wishes for death, but death can't come. People will run to the rocks, hit their heads on rocks. They are bleeding, but death is on holiday. Please, let's not live carelessly. Let's use this time to learn the lessons we must learn and prepare for eternity. One day, time shall stand still. And time will be no more. Everyone here today who 